Springs. Racing one mile. The four horse is a late scratch. Number four is out lame. Number one is Big Town Dust. All by William Mills of Franklin. Ken Albertson trains. Randy Tharps driving. Two Falcon the Great show with the G stables of Dearborn Heights, Michigan. Jim Arledge Jr. training with Don Irvine Jr. driving. Three Western Dreamer over the Brittany Farms of Assis, Kentucky, Allen Regal Trains, Dave Miller Drives, four scratched, five Paxton Road, owned by Lawrence Brandt of Utica, Walt Johnson as the uh, trainer with Mike Wilder. Number six is Sexton, leased by Jerry Pritabaugh and Earl Sanchez of Ohio, Mike Levenier Trains for Jim Daly. The seven Raven Elmer, owned by Walt Kaplinger of Frankfurt, he also trains, Jeff Smith Drives. The H. Fitch Michael, how about the Pine Lane Farms of Lebanon? Roy Wilson trains and drives. And number nine, come on, Tiger, owned by Jerry Summers of Pickerington and uh, Susan Northless of Columbus. Dan Ader is the trainer. Ryan Holton in the Sulky. Win play show, perfected trifecta wagering. Eight minutes until post time. Eight minutes. Sixth race, pacing stallions and gildings all in behind the gate. They're on the back stretch. There they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Paxton Road driving hard for the lead. With them comes Western Dreamer from the inside in third. It's Big Town Dust at the middle in fourth. Falcon the Great. Angling in five, Sexton, and the inside sixth is Raven Elmer. Two lengths in seventh. Fitch Michael, come on, Tiger Trails around the first turn. Western Dreamer surging to the front here, and Miller puts him right on the top. Inside racing in second now, Paxton Road. They reach the first quarter mile marker, 20 and 3, and everyone settled in and straight formation as they come past the stands for the first time. On the front, Western Dreamer leading here with length and a half, too. Paxton Road on the inside racing in second. Big Town Dust follows third. Falcon the Great of the inside is fourth. Sexton looking to flush that cover in fifth. Out and moving comes Raven Elmer. Fitch Michael on the inside, seventh. Come on, Tiger, lagging behind here a bit in eighth. Reaching the half, and it's Western Dreamer with the lead. The half one minute flat, and here comes Falcon the Great. Moving briskly now to the outside, and Falcon the Great going right on by here. Takes a lead. Western Dreamer will string him out a bit on the inside. At the rail, Paxton Road going right with him, and the pace quickens now as they fire down the back stretch. Falcon the Great has taken the lead. Western Dreamer on the inside, now setting chase in second. To the outside comes Paxton Road, and rolling fourth is Sexton. Into the final turn, three quarters, 127 and four around the final turn. And on the front is Falcon the Great, but Paxton Road right there alongside the leader, Western Dreamer, behind the battling leaders as they turn for home. Less than an eighth, and down the stretch they come. Paxton Road has taken the lead, and he's drawing clear here. Paxton Road by two and a half, three. Western Dreamer takes a stab on the outside, but it's Paxton Road tonight. Paxton Road in one, 56 and three. Second was Western Dreamer, tight for show. Track side, the winner, number five, Paxton Road, a three-year-old Ohio bred son of Standing O from the Ben-Hur Hanover mare, Ben's Gypsy. Over Lawrence Brandt of Utica, Ohio, Walt Johnson trains Mike Wilder in the Sulky. Paxton Road coming up with a big final quarter to record his third of the season. In fact, his third career win, and that a lifetime best. 156, three fans.